For over a century one waterway has defined global trade, the Panama Canal. This engineering marvel has stood as a testament to human ingenuity and determination, shaping the very flow of commerce across continents. By slicing through the heart of Central America, the canal connected the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, forever altering the world's economic landscape and making what once seemed impossible, possible. Before the canal, ships had to brave the perilous journey around Cape Horn at the tip of South America, facing unpredictable storms and dangerous waters. The canal's opening saved weeks of travel, reducing both risk and cost for global shipping. The canal quickly became the vital artery of international commerce, a symbol of American ambition, vision, and engineering prowess. It transformed Panama into a crossroads of the world. Its creation was no small feat. Builders overcame deadly disease, harsh geography, and immense political obstacles. The canal's completion fueled the rise of the United States as a two-ocean power, and change the fate of nations. The canal accelerated globalization, opening up new markets, transforming supply chains and making international trade faster and more efficient than ever before. Even after its major expansion in 2016, the canal faces new challenges. Today's super tankers and mega container ships are often too large to pass through, pushing the limits of what the canal can handle. This bottleneck creates delays and limits the efficiency of global trade as ships wait their turn to cross this narrow passage. As global trade volumes soar and ships continue to grow in size, the world is hungry for more capacity and faster routes to keep up with demand. Now, a new, even more ambitious idea is taking root, one that could reshape the future of shipping and commerce in the region. The dream of a second Central American canal, once just a historical footnote, is being revived with incredible force. The proposed Nicaragua Canal could offer an alternative route, challenging Panama's dominance. If built, the world's shipping map may be redrawn once again, with new routes and opportunities for global trade emerging. But can a new canal truly rival Panama's enduring legacy, or will the original waterway remain the beating heart of world commerce? The answer to that question may reshape global trade for generations to come, as nations and industries look to the future of international commerce. Just north of Panama, nestled in the heart of Central America, Nicaragua is at the center of an audacious plan that could reshape the region's destiny. The vision? A canal three times longer than Panama's, stretching across the country at a staggering cost of $50 billion, an amount that dwarfs Nicaragua's entire economy. The project would be one of the largest earth-moving operations in human history, requiring the relocation of entire communities and the transformation of vast landscapes, far beyond what Nicaragua has ever attempted. So where does the money come from? The answer lies with HKND Group, a Hong Kong-based company led by enigmatic billionaire Wang Jing, whose connections to Beijing's strategic ambitions are no secret. For China, now the world's largest exporter and a rising global power, a Nicaraguan canal offers a powerful alternative to the US-influenced Panama Canal, potentially shifting the balance of maritime trade. The proposed canal would be deeper and wider than its Panamanian counterpart, specifically engineered for the world's largest ships, those too massive to fit through Panama's locks. Supporters claim it will revolutionize global shipping, creating a new main street for international trade and shifting economic gravity toward Nicaragua and its partners. But the plan doesn't stop at the canal. It includes deep water ports on both coasts, a sprawling free trade zone, a modern international airport, and a network of new highways, promising a complete transformation of Nicaragua's infrastructure and connectivity. In 2014, the groundbreaking was celebrated with bold promises, ending poverty for millions, launching a new era in logistics and trade, and remaking the nation into a modern economic powerhouse. But can this grand vision become reality, or will it remain just a dream? The world is watching closely, wondering if Nicaragua can deliver on a promise that could change the balance of global trade forever. For China, it's a rare opportunity to shape the world's infrastructure and its future influence on global commerce. For Nicaragua, it's a high-stakes gamble, with everything, land, livelihoods, and national identity, on the line. The stakes could not be higher, and the outcome will echo far beyond Nicaragua's borders. The promise of the Nicaragua Canal is size, big enough for the world's largest ships, this ambitious project aims to create a waterway that dwarfs existing canals, opening up new possibilities for global trade and shipping. Today's shipping giants are limited by the Panama and Suez canals. These vital arteries of commerce were built for a different era, 
and now struggle to accommodate the ever-growing size of modern cargo vessels. A Nicaraguan canal would eliminate this bottleneck, allowing super-post Panamax vessels to cross Central America. Ships that are currently too large for existing routes could move freely, transforming the logistics of international shipping. For shippers this means faster, cheaper routes from Asia to the U.S. Gulf and East Coasts. The canal could cut days off transit time saving fuel and reducing costs for companies around the world. The logic of global supply chains would shift with new routes and new winners. Entire industries could be reshaped as shipping patterns adapt to the new reality. Ports in the US and beyond would see more traffic. Asian exporters would gain a direct path to key markets. This could boost economic growth in regions connected by the canal, creating new opportunities for trade and development. The canal could become a magnet for investment and development. New businesses, infrastructure and jobs could spring up along its route, transforming Nicaragua's economy and the region as a whole. But this vision depends on risky assumptions, that trade will keep growing, that shippers will pay, and that the world's economic climate will remain favorable for such a massive undertaking, and crucially, that the project can be built on time and on budget. Delays or cost overruns could threaten the entire venture. The dream is powerful, but the journey is long and uncertain. Many challenges, technical, financial and political, stand in the way of completion. Redrawing the world's shipping map takes more than water, it takes money, politics and engineering. It requires international cooperation and unwavering commitment. Can Nicaragua deliver where others have failed? The stakes are high and the world is watching closely. The world waits to see if this bold plan will become reality and if a new waterway will truly redraw the map of global trade. Nicaragua's leaders call the canal a national miracle, a $50 billion investment to lift the country from poverty. Tens of thousands of jobs, new ports, an airport and modern roads are promised. The plan transformed Nicaragua from an agrarian society into a logistics powerhouse. The government granted HKND a sweeping 50-year concession, with rights to expropriate land and operate the canal. In return, Nicaragua gets a minority stake in future revenue. But the risks are enormous. Optimistic projections, uncertain job creation, and the threat of debt and foreign control. If the project fails, Nicaragua could be left divided and indebted. The promise of prosperity comes with a heavy price. The canal's route cuts through some of Central America's most sensitive ecosystems. Lake Nicaragua, the region's largest freshwater lake, faces the threat of massive dredging, risking contamination and destruction of unique habitats. The canal would slice through rainforests and protected reserves, fragmenting the Mesoamerican Biological Corridor and endangering species like jaguars and tapirs. Deforestation, erosion, and biodiversity loss are real dangers. The human cost is just as profound. Tens of thousands, including indigenous communities, face expropriation and loss of their ancestral lands. Many feel excluded from the decision-making process, their rights and livelihoods at risk. The canal law was passed with little debate, fueling anger and fear. For those in the path, the promise of prosperity feels distant. The project threatens not just nature but entire ways of life. The price of progress may be too high. Across Nicaragua, opposition to the canal is fierce. Farmers, fishermen, and indigenous groups have marched in protest, decrying the loss of land and sovereignty. Scientists warn of catastrophic environmental risks and criticize the project's rushed, inadequate impact studies. Financial analysts question the project's viability, especially after the 2015 Chinese stock market crash, cast doubt on HKND's funding. Many believe the canal's traffic and revenue projections are wildly optimistic. Despite this, the government remains steadfast, dismissing critics and promoting the canal as the only path forward. The debate has divided the nation, becoming a struggle over identity, future, and who decides Nicaragua's fate. The story is one of fear, resistance, and deep uncertainty. The Nicaragua Canal is more than a commercial venture, it's a geopolitical move. For China, it's a way to secure trade routes and bypass US-controlled choke points. The canal fits China's string of pearls strategy building infrastructure along key maritime routes. A Nicaraguan canal would be a strategic asset in the Western Hemisphere, extending China's Belt and Road Initiative to the Atlantic. Even if the canal isn't a commercial success, it gives China contracts, resources, and influence in Central America. It's a bold statement of China's global ambitions. For Beijing, the strategic value may outweigh the cost. 
In Washington, the idea of a Chinese-funded canal in Central America has triggered quiet alarm. For over a century, the U.S. has dominated the region, Panama Canal included. A new canal, built by a company with ties to China, challenges this order and signals a new era of great power competition. Officially, the U.S. response is cautious, calling for transparency and environmental safeguards. Behind the scenes, concerns run deeper. Could the canal have a military dimension? The U.S. must balance skepticism with diplomacy, wary of pushing Nicaragua closer to China. Many doubt the canal will ever be built, but the possibility forces a strategic rethink. The lines of influence in the Americas are shifting. The U.S. can't afford to be complacent. As of September 2025, the Nicaragua Canal remains a dream, unfinished, unfunded, and uncertain. The initial excitement has faded, roads and dredges never arrived, and HKND has all but vanished. For those along the route, the threat of expropriation lingers, trapping them in limbo. The canal is now a ghost, haunting Nicaragua with broken promises and unresolved fears. The project could be revived if China renews its push or global trade shifts, but each year it looks more like a cautionary tale. The story reflects a changing world. China's rise, small nations caught between giants, and the clash between grand visions and real-world costs. Whether built or not, the canal has already left its mark on Nicaragua and global geopolitics. The world's shipping map remains unchanged, for now. But the lines of power are shifting, and the next chapter is still unwritten.